All right. Oh, so I can now I can talk to him about it. I forget the time, but it's pretty dark outside. Probably night. Yep. It was. <laughs> I would have never thought to do that. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside. Then I heard another one. Bang! And then some guy showed me his crappy CG film. A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. A yup. What did he say? A yup. I. He forgore. He forgore. We need to know earlier than that. You know what? Uh, little Terry was just here. Terry? Like Terry Pratchett? Uh, yup, that kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing on his face, too. It was Gumshoe. Yep. He comes up to me and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're gonna get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Well, the parrot! Thank you, parrot! Very cool! Don't, don't forget DL6, squawk. Huh? The parrot has, has, <laughs> it turns out the parrot's a lawyer. Please tell me the parrot isn't a lawyer. What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Oh, what? The DL6 incident. Hey, mister, I mean, dad. He's asleep. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh, what? He locked the door from the other side. Oh, well, I can't get in the safe now. Okay. <laughs> now the criminal affairs department. Hey, pal, long time no see. You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Now show Gumshoe the burb. Okay. Yeah? What's that, a parrot? The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about the incident. That incident? Oh, like the time you were naked in public? Don't worry. I took that out of the database, bud. No, not that. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me, wink. DL6. What? Oh, it just happened! Don't flash back to something that just happened! Ah, uh, whatever. Dungarampa does that too. But at least that one, that one is, it's not so difficult to figure out. I'm pretty sure the old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how, how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? It's not like it was very public proceedings and all, not, all that. What if that old man was connected to DL6? Nick, you think he might be? All right. Oh, do I talk to him? Ah, there we go. You know the boat rental shop down at Gord Lake? Oh, yeah! The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? 
Huh? How'd you- Uh, that was supposed to be top secret! Do you know th who that old man is, detective? Actually, I don't! He's a bit of an odd bird. Hit, uh, wink. Nudge, nudge. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand to testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Huh, sounds suspicious. SUS! That's a bit sus! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, please help us. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. Uh, guy, it's in the public police database. That was when Edrith's dad died. I can't help but think that has something to do with this current case. I have a feeling that every one of these murders is gonna have- You're gonna have to solve a past murder to solve the current murder. Oh my god. That's so dumb! I HATE BEING RIGHT WHEN IT COMES TO THIS GAME! <laughs> to tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. <laughs> so, I'm afraid I can't show you them either, pal. Why? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, even though you just told me the bird said it, well, I guess I'd consider opening this file up. I get ya. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there is the station's records room. I'll give you special permission and go in and find out what you need. Wait, did we convince him? I don't remember convincing him. Oh, okay, Nick, to the records room. Oh, okay. Okay, the game... Alright, I'm not gonna complain about that one. That was just a misplaced flag. Alright, records room. Dude, the amount of mischief I could get up to in here, it's amazing. I could commit so many crimes. It's amazingly dusty. Ten years of files and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find that TL6 stuff quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Because of DL6? Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, thanks. You're useful this time. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll get the right file. Okay, case summary. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts. Maya is about to take a bullet to the team. Just letting you know. She, hasn't she already- God, I can't wait until they just kill off Maya. And then she comes back as a ghost. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary. Found it. No ghost either. Alright. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. What? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake. No, there was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would be scary like that in the dark.
there was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? No, it was the other guy. Edgeworth's dad just died in a car crash. Unrelated. Why does Maya sound sarcastic all the time? That's the voice I gave her because I figured it would make her more interesting. But it turns out she's more interest she's interesting enough on her own. And also it's like a girl voice that's not too hard on my voice. He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in that elevator. All right, who's the victim? Do you have any data on victim, Mr. Edgeworth's father? I, well, I have his internet search history. This was 2001? Really? I didn't know they saved that stuff in 2001. Uh, yeah, apparently they did. Yeah, hold on, let me get it. Victim, victim, here, found it. They printed it all out. That's so weird. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. Wow, I can't wait until... Never mind, I'm not gonna make that joke. He had lost that... He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? We know who that is! Gre Gregory, you need to be sus, Gregory. Do you know the game Among Us? You need to vent, Gregory. <laughs> so he was in the elevator with his father. WE JUST WENT OVER THIS! <laughs> we just went over this! From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could have not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. Maybe that's why the second bullet was fired. Where have I heard that before? Huh, it sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? What's going on? Do 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 Here, take my NFTs! <laughs> got any data on the suspect in there? Huh, that would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Hold on, this is it. The man arrested is a sub sus suspect in the DL6 incident was Yanni Yogi. Like, uh, L Laurel. Yanni Laurel. That's a, that's an old name. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer. Why did I say Laurel twice? Come on, I, look, I'm not that good, all right? I have to fill space and I'm not gonna do it with words like, like, or um, definitely not. I don't say those ever. But he was found incident, in, in, innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Robert Cop. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived so much of so much so he had brain damage. Oh my god, it's the old man! It's the old man! The old man is Mr. Yogi. He lost all memory <laughs> He lost all memory of being in the elevator. <laughs> yeah, it's the old man. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Hmm, where could a yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer than we think. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, like you said, wink, wink, wink! WINK! <laughs> I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. He might be pretending. Yeah. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick! Are we gonna take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. Y you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Really? That was like... That was like... Ten lines of dialogue. That can't be that big a file. Right. 
that's probably all we'll need to find, be able to find here. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Well, I'll keep playing for a little bit longer. Yes, I would like to save. All right, back. I, uh, yeah, maybe with a, maybe with a, with help, I'll be able to finish this before 7.30. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. I, every time I have to speak with him, I regret choosing that voice. For Mr. Miles Edward. The defense is ready, ah. Oh. <laughs> well. I'm sure we're in different time zones because I'm pretty sure it's six already for me. <laughs> Very well, but apparently the prosecution is also ready. Who is the judge here anyway? CST? So, there's another half hour. Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement! Ah, uh, no opening statements, got it! Very cool! I love it. What is with that voice line? He sounds like a freaking some form of some form of demon. Not so fast, judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. Right, of course. A prediction. Your mom gay. Today's trial will end in three minutes. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, what's the meaning of your statement just now? I believe I made myself clear. I don't know what kind of subtext you can get from that statement. I don't. Are you dumb? <laughs> He's speed running. <laughs> Murder conviction, any percent. It will be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. I'll call my witness now. <laughs> right! I call my witness, my decisive witness to the stand. It's that mysterious boat shop owner. Witness, state your profession. Mmm, I, uh, I am the proprietor of the restaurant of the Wet Noodle at Court Lake. I, uh, also rent boats. <laughs> My occupation is Wall Street. The night of the incident, you were also at the boat rental shop, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was. Please testify. Wait a second. We still haven't heard who this gold guy is. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't ask for a name. It's being inconsistent with itself now. Because I did not ask him, Mr. Wright. I have predicted this trial will end in three minutes. STOP ASKING TRIVIAL QUESTIONS AND COOPERATE! <laughs> yeah... The witness will state his name! Uh, well, uh, I'm not really sure, y yep. What do you mean? Uh, my uh, memory. Your Honor, the witness does not remember uh, anything beyond the f last several years. <laughs> Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. You can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. Yeah, I mean, one, there's no way he forgot his own name. And two... Never mind. What, has he not been using a name since then? Like, oh, I forgot my name, fuck, I guess. 
I don't need a name now. Oh, he, he's, his name is Dad. He can testify. Very well, it's his testimony or whatever. I don't care anymore. It was 9.24, just after midnight, yep. I was in the restaurant uh, where I uh, rent boats as usual. Then I heard a bang, uh, yep. When I looked out the window, I just saw a boat just floating on the lake. Then I heard another bang. Just about the boat comes a man. Uh, just about then, the boat comes to shore and a man walks by my window. There is nothing to question. <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> Von Karma's like, why don't you cross-examine my dick? Cross-examine, then press the sixth statement. Besides, there are only ten seconds left before our three minutes are up. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Mr. Ryan. Why would I not cross-examine? There's so much in that statement. <laughs> Very well, you may get in. <laughs> He's such a dingus. <laughs> Three minutes have passed. He's like, Dio. I see. Well, then, let's just take our time. You may cross examine the witness. Alright, so. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, press. Uh, yep, by my window, right outside the window of my little shack. And could you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right here in front of me. I saw him. This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. I have a bad feeling about this. Um, do I just present here, press again? Are you sure? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dad! Dead certain, Keith. He said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by, too. Witness, are you sure that was the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? It was him, that Edgeworth boy! This sounds like decisive evidence indeed! I see no room for doubt! Except for the fact that he could totally be lying! <laughs> he lured me into a cross-examining so he could set me up for a fall. Alright. Heck, I don't like the way things are going here. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. I better act I better act quick or this trial is gonna be over. I'm gonna raise an objection, as I have been instructed. Your Honor, we proved in yesterday's trial that it could have not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Mr. Wright, are you referring to the fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand found on the gun? Then the photograph showing the man firing with his left hand? Exactly. That is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. You are ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. Hmm. All right, I, I, I'm gonna raise another objection. This witness claims that Edgeworth said, I can't believe he's dead, but was his word is all we have. If he were telling a lie, Mr. Wright, in a court of law, the evidence tells all. <laughs> yeah, but this isn't solid evidence! Apparently, you have yet to realize even this basic fact. If you said he, say his testimony is a lie, show us proof. Nick, do we have evidence? 
No good. There's nothing I can do. Yeah! I'm- I'm sure there's nothing you can do. I'm sure. Please. Can you hear me, sis? Please. We need your help. Just do your own job, Phoenix! You idiot! Three minutes was perhaps too high in expectation. However, 15 minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. And now, if the witness may leave the stand. This court no sees, sees no reason to further prolong the trial. Nor is there any reason to need more time to decide the case against the defendant. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. Hmm, I'm just thinking, why would this guy want to kill his own defense lawyer that got him off for murder? Why? No. Hmm. <laughs> this court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> the accused will surrender to the court immediately. To be held pending trial in a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. Wait. I'm assuming this is Larry. I've I've been told this is Larry. Who is that just now? Me. <laughs> I was right to like Larry. What are you doing here? I you're violating the restraining order, Larry! I swear to Christ, Larry! I I was there in the park the night of the murder. I wasn't sure about it until just yesterday, but today I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot. I heard it too. What is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided. I call for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Von Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, yeah, I did. A gunshot that night. I was sitting here in the audience listening to the testimony. Then I realized something he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I can't just sit here and let you call Eddie a murderer. It's just not right! I'll testify, let me testify! Well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. I... there's no... Whatever! Who cares about the law? The law sucks! I'm not quite sure how to proceed! The trial is over. Nick. This is it. Larry's given us one final chance at this. He's right. If only it wasn't Larry. He could make things even worse. Mr. Edgeworth was just declared guilty, Nick. It doesn't get any worse. You're right. Okay. Your Honor, if there's another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. 